السلام عليكم My dear beloved brothers and sisters an odd night 23rd night beautiful night inshallah on the very first verse we are going to listen to shortly to talk much today the first verse that we are going to listen to is from Surah Az-Zumur, Surah number 39, 39, okay, verse 53, 39, 53, okay. Why, why this verse? Because Sayyidina Abdullah ibn Mas'ud an, said about this verse, it is the most important verse in the entire Quran. It is the most important verse in the entire Quran. And when asked why, he said, It is the single verse that brings the most hope in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Okay? So that's why I chose to share with you a reflection on this verse. Again, chapter 39, verse 53. And the verse reads, لا أنفسهم لا تقنطوا من رحمة الله بجميع إنه هو الغفور الرحيم. Translation. قل, say, يا عبادي, O my servants, Allah is talking to us. Who have, like all of us, transgressed against themselves. Do not despair of the mercy of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Do not despair from the mercy of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Indeed, Allah forgives all sins. Indeed, He is the most forgiving, the most merciful. And you could see now, after the translation, why Sayyidina Abdullah ibn Mas'ud radiallahu an said, this is the most important verse in the Qur'an because it brings the most hope in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So here Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is talking to all of us not to despair, not to despair from His mercy. Do you know that if you, this is a major sin, my dear brothers and sisters. This is a major, this is not just a sin, it is a major sin. Why it is a major sin? Because our beloved Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, Qudsi Fulan, Yaqul, Ta'adama Dhanbi, Fi Jahillahi Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala. I, this is Allah is speaking in Hadith Qudsi, I become angry, but angry here means angry in a way that befits the majesty of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. We don't know how. On a servant, Allah gets angry on a servant who thinks that the sin he committed is much larger than the mercy and compassion of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. This is a major sin. And Allah is inviting us to turn to Him because Allah indeed jami'a. And in this month of Ramadan, we should think about this verse a lot. Especially when we are alone. Because the connection between us and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is very strong on this blessed month. Why? Because there is a being that always disturbs the signal between us and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Who is it? Shaitan. And he is chained in this month. So the connection, the signal is really strong between us and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. 
So take the opportunity and ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for forgiveness for all of your sins, no matter how much. Allah indeed forgives all sins. I will conclude with a hadith of the Prophet وسلم, that speaks about an incident that happened at the time of Sayyidina Musa السلام. We know that Sayyidina Musa السلام, wandered in the desert for how many years? 40 years. Wandered in the desert along with وسلم, told us they were facing drought and famine. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala inspired unto Musa because he was Kalimullah to pray for the prayer of rain. For the prayer of rain. So as Musa was lining up the people asking Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to bless for them for rain and after they finished the prayer so Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala talked to, uh, Sayyidina Musa talked to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and told him, Ya Allah, you told me to offer the prayer of rain. We did, but we were not blessed with rain. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala spoke to Sayyidina Musa alayhi salam and told him, there is a man in the congregation who have been disobeying Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for 40 years. So this man should distance himself out of the congregation so that you will be blessed with rain. So Sayyidina Musa السلام, called out and said, there is a should distance himself away from us so that we would be blessed with rain. And the man knew himself. But if he stepped out, then there will be a lot of shame he will be known in public. So he stayed, hoping that some other person would come forward. But nobody came. So he stayed in his place. But he, his heart, talked to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Ya Allah, you have covered me for 40 years. Do not expose my shame. I turn to you in repentance, I ask you for forgiveness. After he said this, our beloved Prophet is saying, Allah blessed them with rain without this man distancing himself out from the congregation. So Sayyidina Musa talked to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, Ya Allah, you told me there is a man that has to step out for us to be blessed with rain. So Allah talked back to say, because of this man, I blessed you with rain. So Sayyidina Musa salam requested Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, Ya Allah, show this man to me. He said, Allah said back to Sayyidina Musa, I have covered him for 40 years. Why you want me to expose you to him when he came to me? So there is, don't despair, my dear brothers and sisters. These are the blessed days. Ask Allah for forgiveness. Ask Allah for forgiveness. You don't have to go to a priest or an imam or a sheikh to do so. Even your tongue may not say anything. Your heart could communicate to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And Allah listens to hearts. Nobody else. Allah listens to your heart in these blessed days. So my dear brothers and sisters, I, this is an advice for myself and you. Ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for forgiveness and pardoning. Allahumma innaka afuun tuhibbul afwa fa'afu anna ya kareem.